Hello everybody and welcome to my 110 VBA tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how you can read information from a text file. Um, and we're going to go through a few different things with text files over the coming tutorials. Um, but first of all we're just going to go through how you uh, get the information out of one. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is just uh, dim uh, my file path as string uh, and then we just need to set our file path so that's just going to be equal to the file path of our file that we want to read so I've got this text file that just says hello my name is Matt uh, and uh, I just want to read this one so let's just get our um, path name so and then backslash text dot text uh, and so that's our file path um, we're then going to open this file so let's do open uh, and then we're going to give it our file path uh, and you could just put the file path straight in the open but um, I like to put it in a variable because then it's easier for people to see if they want to change it uh, we then put for input uh, and this just specifies how we want to open up this file um, and I've just always used for input sometimes if you put for output and you don't have the right permissions for the file uh, it doesn't work so uh, let's just put for input uh, and then we need to put in hashtag and then a number um, and you need to put as hashtag and then a number and the as hashtag one this is just going to say this is my file number one. So if you open up another file at the same time, call it two, so on and so forth. It's just an ID for the file you've got open. And it's this ha uh, hashtag one that we're going to use to reference uh, our uh, file when we want to read through it. Uh, so that's our file opened up. Um, and whenever I do an open, I always instantly do a close and then hashtag one um, because you want to be closing down your connection to the file at some point um, and you don't want to forget to do it because it can quite often crash your code uh, and all of your excel which is a major pain in the backside uh, so let's press play and it's all working fine so that means i've got the correct file path and i've written it all correctly um, if you haven't got the right file path, so let's say I try and do text2, it'll come up with an error saying file not found. Um, so just make sure you get your yeah, file paths correctly. Uh, if you want to be a little bit more clever, then you can use the uh, this workbook dot uh, path, and then you can put in it as a relative reference, uh, which I've done in previous tutorials. Um, so then we want to look through the lines of the code and actually do something with them. So to do this, I'm going to do a, a do until, and I'm going to use the function EOF, which stands for end of file. Uh, and so it will show true if we've reached the end of the file. Uh, and all we do is just pass it that number one, which is our file number from up here. Uh, and then we go down here and press loop. Um, and before we run this, don't press play now because at the moment we're not going to go for any of the lines and we're never going to get to the end of the file. So hold off, don't get too eager, definitely don't press play. Uh, if you feel like having an infinite loop experience, then do press play, but um, it, you, you'll have to start all over again because you're going to an end of loop. Or you can press pause break, which is a little bit easier. Um, anyway, so let's uh, give ourselves a counter. Uh, in order to just loop through the sheet. Uh, so let's just go up here and get dim counter as integer and then let's do counter equals counter plus one. Uh, so first time we go through it, it's going to set it to one and then it's just going to add one each time and that's just going to be our row. Um, and then we want to le read a line of input. Uh, so I'm going to dim a uh, current line as string. 
Uh, and in order to read into that uh, string that we've created, we do line input hashtag one and then comma and then we give it our current line. So this is going to take the input from line one and put it into our current line variable um, as a string. So now we can do what we want with that current line variable. So I'm just going to write it onto my sheet one. So let's do uh, this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells and then we use our counter a comma one dot value equals and then current line. Um, and so this is just going to loop through all of the lines in my sheet uh, and it's going to put them out onto my sheet one uh, and then it's going to close down. So let's press play uh, and then let's bring our worksheet up and you'll see it's filled in. Hello, my name is Matt. The same way that it appears in our text file uh, and you don't have to put it on the sheet. You can do whatever you want with it. So you can store it in an array. You can do whatever. So let's say uh, we, we want to put it in a message box instead. Put it in a message box and then let's press play and it will come out hello my name is matt okay and it closes this off uh so any questions drop them in the comments below or uh, if you want to paste some of your code uh and uh, it's going wrong put it on our forum uh, link in the description and uh if we are releasing videos every wednesday now so if you want to subscribe to see when those videos come out uh, please just click on the subscribe button on the channel. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial when I show you how to add new data to your uh, text file. So thanks for, thanks for listening and uh, catch you soon.